This is RJ, and I have something to say, a little too much today, but a couple things that should be said. I want to thank uh, the late, great columnist for the Philadelphia Inquirer. Harry Harris is the one that got me on UHF, believe it or not. He told me about the news station opening up in Chestnut Hill, Channel 17, and they gave me a break, Dr. Percy B. Crawford, who owned the station. It was a religious station, but they let me do a generic show uh, interviewing young people living unusual lifestyles, uh, to get in the show business, and I had some big stars there. Joe Niagara, High Lit, Dick Clark, they all came up to Mermaid Lane and did the show with me. We had a wonderful time, and that was called Spotlight on America on Channel 17. I was one of the first UHF television shows, but that's not the whole story. I start back at 1622 Chester Street, the old Channel 10, a guy by the name of Phil Sheridan, Uncle Philzy. He had the morning show on WFIL. He got me on this show called Radio Rangers, where we would sit and watch a plot of westerns, and we had to finish the very plot. How it ended, we would guess how the goodie got away or the baddie killed him. You know, it was an interesting show. We were 11 years old. I started there. Then they bring me out to City Line Avenue, and there's a show called Action in the Afternoon, where they did an actual cowboy show in the back lot of WCAU at City and Monument Avenues. What a joy that was. I learned all the mistakes that people would do on live television. This is way before any other live show. I did it. In the afternoon, I was an extra sometimes. I had mud. I was in rain. They used me because I was a dumb little 11, 12, 13 year old boy. And I loved it, just to learn the business. And then I get a little too old for that show, so I go down to a, a good friend of mine, God bless him, Tony Mamarella, and he puts me on bandstand with Bob Horn in those days. But then I am in hurry because Bob leaves the show, Dick Clark takes it over, and I stay on with a show that was local on Channel 6, Mr. Annenberg owned it, and of course, Channel 15, we were on two channels, believe it or not. And that show grew to 65 ABC affiliates. What a wonderful learning experience it was for me to be with live television every day in Philadelphia, PA. It's been my life. I don't know anything else. I would have to you know, be a bum in the street if I hadn't gotten in radio and TV. Thanks to Harry Harris getting me on UHF. Phil Sheridan getting me into radio in the early days. Dick Clark putting up with me on ABC's American Bandstand. Has it been a joy? No regrets. It's a shame I can't turn back the 65 years. But I'm doing it from the back of my yard in Philadelphia on 90 degree day, thanks to George Brewstar and a lot of good friends like Alan Constantine who have given me so many ideas to do this. And I'm not doing it egotistically, I'm doing it thankfully. We'll continue with more of RJ and something to say on YouTube.